everyone, welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It is the 24th of October 2023. I'm Nikhar Shani and these are the headlines. Bitcoin price rockets to $35,000 as ETF excitement grows. Binance again six to Nix incendiary CFTC suit. Coinbase hoses down rumors of weekly withdrawal limits on Bitcoin. Neem Technologies attracts $300 million in cryptocurrency fund commitments for privacy infrastructure. Sam Bankman-Fried seeks expert to counter testimony from DOJ witnesses. Upcoming events and more to come. Quickly on the market rates today, Bitcoin is up at $34,000. Ethereum is at $1,800. BNB is at $230. Solana is at $31 and the dollar scenario rates is at $1,000 to $1. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First off, the price of Bitcoin broke through the $35,000 mark for the first time since May 2022, marking a staggering gain in the past 24 hours. The price of Bitcoin suddenly spiked upward on October 23rd, with Bitcoin gaining more than 10% from $31,000 to over $34,000. Less than two hours after breaking $34,000, Bitcoin reached a high as $35,300. Bitcoin is currently changing hands for a price of $34,550. The sudden uptick in price for Bitcoin comes amid a fresh wave of interest in upcoming spot exchange traded fund ETF approvals and a significant increase in overall trading volumes across sport markets. The surge also came amid developments relating to BlackRock's proposed spot Bitcoin ETF. On the 23rd of October, an ex formerly Twitter post from analyst Scott Johnson pointed to two new prices of information that could hint that a spot Bitcoin ETF approval is getting closer for the investment giant. Johnson pointed out that BlackRock had secured a specific CUSIP license and may soon begin the process of seeding its spot ETF product with cash as early as this month. In response to the post, senior Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Balkunis noted that seeding an ETF is typically not a lot of money and would be just enough to get the ETF going. However, he admitted that it is overall a good sign and marks another step in the process of launching. Next stop, Binance renewed its push to fend off charges from US commodity regulators on Monday as the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchange faces increasing heat from enforcers. The exchange says the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, is trying to police the world by taking action against a company which on paper has sought to avoid US business. The CFTC relies on new and broad arguments that would allow it to regulate any activity in cryptocurrency or other assets relating to a derivatives product anywhere on the globe. That was according to a filing made by Binance in an Illinois court late Monday. US law governs domestically but does not control the world. Congress did not make the CFTC the world's derivatives police, Binance's filing said adding that the agency's complaint resorts to incendiary language against Binance and Zhao. More interesting news as cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase has refuted rumors that it had imposed a $5,000 per week limit on Bitcoin withdrawals after a user's post claiming as such gained traction on social media. On the 24th of October post, from a user on X, formerly Twitter, claimed that he'd been hit with a purported policy and restricted his withdrawals of Bitcoin from Coinbase to a maximum threshold of $5,000 a week. The post gained over 250,000 views with more than 420 tweets and nearly 2,000 likes. The post also gained the attention of cryptocurrency researcher Chris Black, who asked if anyone could verify the claim being made. However, a spokesperson from Coinbase did report that these claims were inaccurate and that no such policy existed that limited withdrawals when selling to Coinbase cash balances. Withdrawing from 
Coinbase will be dependent on the payment method you are using to withdraw. That was according to the spokesperson who suggested that users consult the crypto exchange's official policy on account limits and withdrawals. Also, the NIM Innovation Fund with commitments from investors such as Polychain, KR1, Huobi Incubator, and Eden Block supports projects looking to safeguard privacy in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Crypto venture firms have committed more than $300 million to privacy technology maker NIM Technologies through its innovation fund. The fund will provide capital to cryptocurrency builders, developers, and communities with a focus on privacy, which aims to prioritize users' anonymity during financial activities. It has received commitments from investors such as Polychain, KR1, Huobi Incubator, and Eden Block, among others. Web3 will only succeed as the future of the internet if privacy exists. NIM Technology CEO and co-founder Harry Halpin said in a statement, a new, better, decentralized internet free from monopoly and censorship needs privacy at its very core, or it will replicate the faults of the legacy web. The NIM Innovation Fund is designed to breathe life into good ideas that make privacy a reality in Web3. This will ensure the health of the privacy ecosystem, but it will also advance the Web3 industry as a whole, providing mentorship and funding during this difficult macroeconomic climate, Halpin said. To close up the news today, Sam Bankman frieds lawyers are planning to put forward an expert witness to counter testimony from former Alameda Research CEO Carolyn Ennison and other witnesses about the extent of financial ties between FTX and the trading firm. In an October 23rd letter to New York District Judge Lewis Kaplan, Bankman frieds attorneys said Joseph Pimbley from litigation consulting firm PF2 Securities would testify on behalf of the former FTX CEO. The letter lays out that Pimbley will testify based on FTX database information that Alameda's line of credit with FTX fluctuated between approximately $1 billion and $3 billion. Between October 2021 and September 2022 and decreased in June 2022, which has the goal of establishing a definitive timeline for the line of credit. Pimberley will also testify that the majority of balances for non-FTX and non-Alamedia users are in United States dollars, Bitcoin, Ether, and Tether, and over 75% of non-FTX and Alameda user balances arise from accounts that have spot margin enabled, spot margin lending enabled, or show futures activity, which could provide context to testimony made by former FTX executives. The testimony is also set to rebuff a testimony by Ellison, FTX co-founder Gary Wang, former FTX engineering director Nishad Singh, and former FTX employee Adam Yadidia regarding Alameda's line of credit and FTX customer use of margin trading. Pimberley is set to counter Ellison's testimony that Alameda had an essentially unlimited line of credit on FTX and Wang's testimony that the firm had borrowed around $3 billion from the credit line. Finally, on blockchain events to come, Blockchain Live 2023. Blockchain Live 2023 is the 11th international forum on Web3 technologies, cryptocurrencies, and mining. The event will gather more than 7,000 participants from over 120 countries, including investors, traders, entrepreneurs, miners, developers, and many others. Happening live in Dubai from the 24th to the 25th of October 2023, the event will give investors the opportunity to learn about promising projects with high profitability potential, while startup teams will be able to present their products at the exhibition. Miners will be presented with information about methods of earning money in 2023 and a chance to get acquainted with new equipment from global mining companies. Traders will discover advanced trading strategies and meet managers of the world's major cryptocurrency exchanges. This event will also be of interest to developers, officials, crypto influencers, and anyone involved with cryptocurrencies. Among the topics that will be discussed at the conference are the role of blockchain and Web3 technologies, metaverse, mining, investment and trading of cryptocurrencies, regulation of the cryptocurrency industry, and so much more. 
Metaverse Career 2023. From the 24th to the 27th of October 2023 in Seoul, South Korea, the Metaverse Career 2023 event is organized by the Korea Electronics Association and Exporium Inc. and will be held in conjunction with the Korea Electronics Show 2023. Metaverse Korea 2023 is scheduled to cover a wide range of current topics in the blockchain, gaming, and Web3 infrastructure. Conference participants will get comprehensive information about digital identity, hardware of blockchain innovations, AI opportunities in Web3, cloud computing, and much more. The event will showcase the latest developments in virtual reality and offer an opportunity to try out the most recent hardware innovations based on metaverse technologies. The event will let attendees explore the world of blockchain and digital technologies, share experiences and experts and industry representatives, and enjoy unforgettable experiences of technical innovations in the metaverse sphere. And that's it for the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, do visit our website, CryptoTVPlus.com. And also follow us on our social media platforms, of course, on Facebook and X at Crypto TV Plus, on Instagram and threads at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily phone our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news at all, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Roshini and I'll see you next time.